You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, welcome to another episode of CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. I film this show every week to bring awareness and attention to the CNA role and its importance in healthcare. So many people are eager to give credit to the surgeons, doctors, and nurses for their role in a patient's recovery. Often the CNAs who deliver over 80% of the direct patient care go unnoticed and underappreciated. And to me, this is very sad because CNAs provide so much physical and emotional support to patients. So get out there and thank a CNA today. CNAs are often the first to jump in when there is an emergent situation. As we've discussed in previous episodes, CNA heroes run to help others without regard for their own well being. Whether it is a car accident, a drowning, or a heart attack, if there's a CNA nearby, chances are they are on it providing first aid, comfort, and emotional support. Let's go to Cincinnati, Ohio, where Mariah Collins is a CNA at Versailles Healthcare Center and a nursing student at the university. Just a few short weeks ago, Mariah and a friend were walking near the main university campus when they heard gunshots. She was unable to tell where they were coming from and exactly what they were, but she suspicioned they were gunshots and she kept walking. She came upon a 36-year-old man who had been shot in the leg. He was bleeding. Mariah removed her belt and applied a tourniquet to his leg to help slow the bleeding, explaining to the man that it would be painful, but it was necessary. Her friend called 911, and within minutes, paramedics arrived, taking the gunshot victim to the university hospital where he was expected to survive. Mariah didn't turn and run the other way in fear. Instead, she stepped up and she let her skills take over to help this drive-by shooting victim. So please join me today in celebrating the very brave efforts of Mariah Collins, CNA Hero. <laughs> 